saved up Now you want me back I know the procedure Trying to come to my place Turn around, it's no fun Listen, what? Find the lace, find it. King, are you dumb? No. This is an honest reaction. Let me see your, um, <laughs> your phone tag recording. Oh my God. Yo. Biggest one. Did your biggest <laughs> one. Okay. Here you go, babe. What? The actual. <laughs> this is. I can't. We will be back. 100%. I can't. Sometimes I forget that, like, I do what I do for a living. And. No. 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 Yo. Whoa. This isn't real. This is not real. No. Are we joking? We're joking. What's good, Ray gang? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we're gonna be getting into another vlog. Y'all, can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Can, can, we, can we talk about the hair? Listen, for one, you know the hair is good when the hairstylist gets asking questions about the hair. Where's it from? What inch? What body wave? All that. Are you? This is unreal. Sick. This, I think, is going to be my new plug, my new supplier. Um, because, yeah. And supporting a black-owned business and a fellow Nigerian fine babe. Absolutely. Yeah. The hair ate down. All the details for the hair will be down in the description box below. Shout out to you, Annie. Shout out to you, babes. I love you. I love you big. Okay, like big. But anyway, as y'all can see, we just got our hair slayed, whipped, okay? I was really nervous, y'all. I was scared. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. You you know how these new age hairstylists are. I was scared. You know, we weren't gonna hit it off. She wasn't gonna, you know, mess with me. Um, and yeah, like she did her biggest one. I didn't know what to expect. Her work speaks for itself on her Instagram. But you know, still, you just get a little nervous, especially when you don't get your hair done. Like I really, I do my own hair. Um, y'all know my best friend Sky is a hairstylist so when I see her she does my hair but outside of that I really don't be letting people touch my hair so I was really nervous but like this exceeded like far beyond my expectations like I cannot when she turned me around in the chair no no <laughs> no 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 I was shook shook I cannot believe it yeah I will be back I will definitely be back. Anyway, it is Friday, March 22nd. It is noon, y'all. You know what my plan was today? You even know why I was getting my hair done? Because I was supposed to be going to the Mariah the Scientist concert. And what does my good sis decide to do the day before the concert? She cancels. She moves the concert to May 6th. It's March 22nd. Sister, I need to see you now. I need to see you tonight. Where are you at? Because I will fly to you. <laughs> No, I, I actually been hearing her last few concerts that she's been sick. So maybe that's why, you know, this has been uh, like she ended up canceling today. I don't blame her because your health is everything. But like, I'm definitely salty about it. So I think I'm going to have to see if I can get a refund because I'm going to be out of town May 6th. I'm going to be out of the country, actually. I'm not going to tell y'all where yet, but yeah i'm really sick about it anyway y'all have met steph before my friend stephania from miami she's here she just flew in literally just landed like an hour ago and um she i had her uber because she wanted to go get a pedicure so she's going to get a pedicure and then um i'll meet up with her i'm gonna pick her up from there in probably like an hour or so but right now i'm starving i'm thinking i go somewhere to get some food i really want to get a coffee but i have to edit today uh, so I'm nine times out of ten gonna get a coffee at wherever I go to edit so I won't get a coffee now I think I'm just gonna get food y'all in other news can we talk about the Desi and Monet collab when I tell you I was 
on that site, they said nine. Uh, they said 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, baby. I was on that site at 8:58. Refresh, refresh, refresh until it's nine o'clock. They talk about enter password, baby. What is the password? I never got a password. So then finally they were like, refresh, refresh, refresh. So I was able to order the. Uh, deep red montes that i like really wanted they look so good on her i cannot wait till they come in like they're gonna eat they're gonna devour so yeah today's agenda we don't really have anything crazy planned i really just want to edit because i really want to get this vlog up tomorrow um and then we might go to like a lounge you know something chill tonight um, tomorrow we do have a Rockets game which I'm really excited about and then we're gonna go to James Harden's uh, restaurant called 13 me Stephanie and Kendra will go tomorrow I'm actually about to call Kendra and see what she's up to because yeah I want to make sure that we can solidify that for tomorrow let me call her Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Now? I'm good. I wanted to call because um, I wanted to see what your tea was for this weekend. What are you getting into? Um, I don't really have anything planned. Um, yeah, Sunday I'm just going to go to church and then tomorrow we're going to go to dinner. Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Y'all, I cannot believe that I look like this. Like, I look good. Like, and I, I normally look, yeah, I do my, my, my little one, whatever. No, nah, babes, we're doing our biggest one right now. Like, the content that I'm about to get, I'm about to get flicks, okay? I already called Kendra. We're going to try to get dinner at 13 tomorrow. And that means that we're going to get pictures with her camera. Like, yeah, it's a moment. And then Sunday, I really want to get brunch with Stephania. Like, just on some, like, chill stuff, you know? Um, nothing crazy. But I really want to, like, dress cute and, like, you know, like, give spring. I was talking to the CEO of the hair company. Just of, like, what type of content she wanted me to get for her. And um, she was, like, you know, talking about, like, spring and stuff. When I was telling her, like, oh, like, the festivities that I had, I was, like, a lot of it's going to be, like, nighttime. She was, like, honestly, girl, I do not care. Like, I trust you. Like, get the content that you, you're going to get. And I'm sure, like, that's enough. And I'm, like, period. It just feels good to, one, be able to support your own people. But, two, have people that believe in you and that trust you and, like, you know, really, like, seek you trust you and trust your vision and like you know like believe in your content like it make it means so much to me and she reached out to me and she was just like thank you so much for just being such like a, a kind soul like a good person like I'm just so blessed and I, I knew that we would hit it off and it like that made my day because y'all know me like I'm a girl's girl like I, I love the girlies I love meeting meeting people I love hitting it off and so it's funny because the stylist in the beginning was like kind of quiet um, she wasn't being rude or anything like that she was just kind of like on the quiet side which is fine and then y'all know me Miss Chatty Cathy I get to ask him like oh are you from Houston like you know how long you've been doing hair for da, 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 da. come to find out she's a Midwest baddie like myself she's from Detroit uh, and you know, so we, we got to talking and it's just so interesting because she was like, you know, like, do you feel some type of way if your stylist doesn't talk to you? And I was like, me personally, I don't feel any type of way because at the end of the day, like, what does the hair look like? I'm here for a service. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to make friends in the most respectful way possible. Now I, what I will not tolerate is disrespect, but if she's quiet, like, I'm not gonna be mad about that, y'all, you know what I mean? Like, what do y'all think about that? Comment down below. But I am a very personable person, and it's like, you know, especially if, like, you do, like, you're good at what you do, and I might potentially wanna come back to you, I definitely would love to have conversation, but will I be upset if we don't? No, like, you know? And she was, like, saying how, like, she agrees, and um, she's just, you know, like she picks up on energy and like she was like like I, I felt comfortable to talk to you so I'm gonna talk but if I don't then I'm not going to and I was just like that that's really interesting um, 
but like a lot of people say that though uh just in general but uh, especially about me like that they feel comfortable being able to talk to me and stuff and i just want my heart because like i said before a million times like i love connecting with people and i love being able to have like meaningful conversations so i was really happy to hear that honestly and she's a dope stylist i mean <sighs> what what like i said all details will be down below in the description you can also use my code desi10 to save 10 percent off of your order girl yeah yeah like we we getting the girls some coinage off okay period clock that tea honey <laughs> What am I talking about? Y'all can y'all tell that I'm feeling myself because my hair look good, because my hair is done. Now I'm feeling myself. Like, it's funny. That's a science that truly needs to be studied. Like, why? What gets activated when a, a woman gets her hair done? Like, why all of a sudden I want to be outside? Why all of a sudden I want to click, click, clack my fingers and talk with my hands? And, well, I do that anyway, but y'all get what I'm saying. It's just funny. Woo. I'm so hungry, y'all. So hungry. Y'all already know where I'm at. How are you doing today? Can Good. Morning? Des. Okay, go ahead with your order. Can I please do one spicy chicken sandwich? Okay. Um, no pickle. And then I'm going to do ketchup and honey mustard with that. And then I'm also going to do a small fry with ketchup and honey mustard as well. Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, let me see. Can I redeem the small? It's not working right now with the app. What? Yeah, it's not working right now. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Is it, am I tripping or did it sound like she had an attitude? Like, girl, how am I supposed to know the app's not working? Like, and I don't y'all probably couldn't see her face, but she was like, yeah, it's not working right now <laughs> Yeah, it's not work It's like So then why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell? <sighs> to me, it's not that deep, you know what I'm saying? But like what if I was really somebody that was really like on day last, you know 20 for the week like thinking oh i'm about to get my three dollar free fry only spending five dollars for this meal and now i'm spending eight something and then got the there but like she cleaned it up when i uh did i i don't know i don't know what i did i'm when i i'm gonna see when i rewatch this this uh footage back my mood immediately switched up because like it's one thing for y'all y'all's app situation to not work right but for you to get an attitude with me because i didn't know that is so strange to me it's bizarre almost this guy looks so wholesome yes thank you, so thank you. beautiful stunning can i get another ketchup by chance please another ketchup please oh, of course thank you, <laughs> you thank you have a good one man's just making googly eyes at me i get it i know i know i look good baby <laughs> i need to stop i know that some of the girlies probably did not sign up to just watch me talk for an hour so i'm gonna get off so i'm gonna eat in my car and edit the hair vlog that i filmed this morning like that's one thing that i've noticed y'all is like the moment that i film if I just like edit it, like it, it, less things pile up and I can get stuff out to y'all. You know what I mean? So I'm going to edit this hair vlog TikTok um, and then also send it over to the CEO. We don't really have too much going on today, so I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Come. I have a special guest. I don't know if you guys have met Steph before. It's my twin and elm. So I wanted to show y'all. Well, for one, can we get into this like, install? What the hell is going on, y'all? So for real right now. Obviously, like I got y'all in 4K. Y'all could probably see the lace this close, but like, if I didn't tell y'all, y'all, y'all would probably think this is a traditional sewing. Like that's kind of insane. It 
It's invisible. Invisible. So I think I told y'all I was trying to get on my like vitamin kick situation. <laughs> and I ordered the Mary Ruth's iron and multivitamin. I need some lotion on my hands. So I'm about to take it. Intermission. <laughs> so I'm severely anemic, y'all, and I've been needing to take iron. But last time I tried to take iron, like two years ago, I was like, it made me like not feel well at all. So um, I'm going to try out liquid iron. This is the vegan liquid iron with the berry flavor. It smells good. It does smell good. So I'm gonna try this first. They recommend for ages 19 to 50, one tablespoon. I have my tablespoon measuring situation here. So I'm gonna take the first. Should I shake? Do they say shake well? You said, oh, it's, it's oh, fine. No, it's okay. <laughs> Open it. Nervous. Okay. Ooh. Ah, oh, that poured fast. Big. Yeah. Oh gosh. Cheers. It's actually good. And I knew it would be. It smells good. This smells weird. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, this is good. And it looks like a lot in the thing, but it's actually like when you consume it, it's a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take. The no, liquid morning multivitamin, and it says plus hair growth. Damn, two tablespoons is crazy. I know, it sorta of is. But if it's not bad, then, but still. Maybe I'll just do one. Oh, you are right on, it's orange. <sighs> I don't know if y'all can see that. It smells like carrots. That's not bad. Oh, and she's taking another. Yeah, I, I really wanted to like make it stretch, but. At least it's quick. It is quick, and but they said, um, I want to make it stretch because it said it lasts 15 days. Yeah. But if they want me to take two tablespoons, I'll take two tablespoons. I also got a PR package from the lip bar. They reached out to me a little while ago and it finally came in. Look at how nice for one. That's like a really nice package, but there's like some really cute stuff in here. I'm excited to try. I think maybe tonight I'll try this lip liner. That's a pretty color. And then I'll probably do one of these glosses. Like look at the shimmer. I don't know if y'all can see. Thank you to the lip bar family. Aww. Oh, so the lip bar is sold in Target. And it's like basically all of their like their favorites. The lip liquid matte lipstick, liners, their glosses, lipsticks, and lip oils. And I think that's their CEO, Melissa. She's pretty. And those are all the products. So yeah, we'll try some of those tonight. I'm going to edit. Stephanie is going to the gym. <laughs> And I will check in with y'all later when we get ready for tonight's festivities because we're going to a Rockets game tonight. Oh, oh I know I told y'all. Okay, we outside. I told y'all that Mariah the Scientist canceled or moved the, the, the freaking concert. I'm sorry about that, but we move. It's okay. We move. We still have motion. <laughs> we still got motion. <laughs> so we're, I think our plan is the game, and then we're going to try to go to James Harden's restaurant club called 13. I haven't really wanted to go there, so she, so... Yeah. Anyway. Should be a time. I think I'm going to go edit at Brass Tacks. I'm not sure, but she's going to go to EOS, my gym that I go to. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Y'all, so we're back and we went to... It's okay. No, you can watch me. Um, what was this called? The bagel shop? Oh my God. 
It was called the Hot Bagel Shop in the Montrose area. This is it. And these are the bagels. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, they're huge. Yo, yours is busting out the seams. So let me show. <laughs> I can't wait. So this is how it looks. Actually, let me just lift it up. Damn. I'm so happy I asked for just one freaking egg because I just knew that they was going to... And even one egg is too much, bro. I'm a, just a simple person. The that looks that so too. good. Mm. Okay. I'm no, gonna try mine it. is literally busting out this <laughs> It was like day we needed it. That's crazy. At least they cut it though. It's nice. Yeah. I got jalapeno cream cheese. So it's a place where they have like all different types of like cream cheese and such. Y'all, I'm real weird with eggs. Like, I don't know why <laughs> I'm like that. that. Yeah. I just, Holy. I need minimal. Like, I want some, but I like a whole block of egg. Like, will kind of gross me out. This looks so good. Okay. Taste test. This is huge. Damn. Damn. Okay. I was gonna eat that. That's kind of tricky. All right, y'all didn't cut it all the way. I did it though. That was good. Oof. The jalapeno cream cheese is fire. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Ooh, what kind of cheese did you get? Problem? Problem. That looked good. That fire. cheese pool. You like yours? Yeah. It's Period, y'all. The hot bagel shop. I will definitely be going back. Mm -hmm. Everything, both of ours came out to like $22, I think. So it was like 10 a piece. Mm -hmm. Well, I think mine was nine. Hers is a little more. I added, added stuff. Avocado but. and chip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, so we are Getting ready for the basketball game. I'm just taking out all my pink curls. They look really good. Of course, we're gonna take some pictures, so. I'm telling y'all, this little con air. Yeah. Be doing its biggest one. I'm proud of myself. I edited and posted a whole entire vlog today. Even still with having company here. Like, I'm just really proud of myself. So, you know what that means. We turned in that tonight. <laughs> I haven't done my lips yet. Stephanie. Yeah. I'm gonna use a brush. Hold on, let me cook, let me cook. <laughs> I have to get my, what's it called together? Yeah, it needs to be like this. Hot comb. How did she do this shit? I gotta lift the roots. Yeah. I'm gonna lift the root. This part is about to be the death of me. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually Dessa's fault because she was- What? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with the skirt, the dragon is so good. This is the DSP. What is the DSP about to be my answer? Good 
morning. Well, I guess it's actually afternoon. <laughs> what time is it, Steph? 12.41? Yeah, so recap of last night. We are so funny. So Steph and I took our time, which I am happy we took our time getting ready so that we didn't have to get re-ready, I guess, for the rest of the night. But we got ready, took our time, listened to music, vibed out, drank a little bit, took pictures downstairs. We ended up going to the Rockets game. It was a blowout. It wasn't even like... Uh, real interesting game um but we ended up going for like basically the second half uh they played the jazz blew them out and so yeah by the way y'all this hair are you kidding me do y'all see the way that it's just brushing out let me put y'all <laughs> you scared me let me put y'all down what mind you this is like like i was getting i was getting active <laughs> like there's no matting, no shedding, no tangling. Y'all, please hit the link in my bio. Like, yes, I was sent this hair for free, but would I buy it with my own money? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so good. Steph was like, damn, like this hair is really good. Like, you know, like just, ooh, this is, this is really nice hair. Anyway, so we went because basically i think i've told y'all before my job gives me free tickets to uh different events like at the toyota center just different events in houston in general um but they get a lot for the toyota center so they will give you free access to the Michelob ultra lounge which basically gives you like free food free drinks um box seats like it's really nice so we got we basically went to eat and just like watch the second half of the game. It was a good time, it was fun. And then we Uber back home and um, just like freshened up a little bit and waited until Kendra got here. And then we went downstairs and had like a whole photo shoot as we should. <laughs> but yeah, after that, we basically just, um, we went to Adore. Oh no, I'm sorry, not Adore. We went to Love, this place called Love. And it was a really nice vibe. It was it was nice. Um, the I liked the setting. I felt comfortable because you when you're in there, you can see the whole vicinity. You get what I'm saying? It's not like you can go around a corner or anything. Like I don't know, my anxiety be bad, especially at nighttime here in the city. Like you just don't know what's gonna happen. I really liked that i like the vibe the energy like it was it was just a good it was a good uh spot i would definitely go back it's love like l-o-v but then the e is um a three so we went there and then we came <laughs> this is where stuff started to get a little like what's going on here so basically we're leaving out we're like okay are we gonna go to after hours or we're just gonna go home and then we finally decided eh, let's just go home like you know, like, we've had a, a decent night, like, no problem. Then this dude walks up, and it's just so funny. Like, it felt like a movie. This dude walks up. He's talking about some, where y'all going after? We're like, eh, probably home, like, whatever. Or studio, studio. One of the girls that we met last night, she was like, oh, they're going to studio after. So we're like, I don't know nothing about studio. So I'm asking him. We're like, oh, we were going to go to studio. He was like, oh, yeah, we going to studio. Get in the truck. We like get in the truck. Like, what does that mean? Like, what is this? Am I being abducted? Like, legitimately, I actually think I said that at one point. I was like, is this, are you, uh, are you abducting us? <laughs> and he started laughing. He was actually a really cool guy. Um, I'm kind of sorry I didn't get his Instagram or nothing. Like, not even on that type of time. Just on some, like, you know, somebody to link with on the weekend. Somebody that's well plugged in that, like, knows events going on and stuff like that. He was a cool guy. But, um... He's like, no, 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 like, we, it's a bunch of us, we go into a door, it's a big ass Escalade over there, like, you can get in the truck, you can come with us. And some of my YouTube aunties might get upset when they hear, we indeed did get in the truck. <laughs> and we went with them dudes and some other girls. So it was me, Steph, it was me, Steph, and Kendra. And then three of the other girls that we actually ironically had met at love. And then three guys. 
and we went with them to studio. Then we pulled up to studio, dude had a section, but he felt like it wasn't lit. He was like, fuck it, we leaving. We're going to um, Clover. Mind you, you could tell I don't go outside like that because I don't know what any of these places are. So I'm like, okay, screw it. We're going to Clover, I guess. So we got back in the car. We ended up going to Clover and it was stacked out. Like, oh my God. And the section that we were supposed to be in was just like, it was just packed. And I was like, mm -mm. thank God Kendra had a friend that was also there that had their own section. And it was like, three people in the section so we hopped over to another section we had a good time it was a, it was a good really 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 good night mind you that place was the after hours fyi if you're not from houston um or like a major city i don't even know if like other cities do this Steph, do y'all have after hours in miami oh do y'all have after hours in miami She said that they do. So Miami, maybe, I don't know what other cities, but <clears throat> a lot of cities don't really have them. But basically, after hours is like where you go after the normal clubs will close. So you go there from like 2.30 to like 4 or 5 in the morning. It's funny because I ended up seeing my lash tech last night. <laughs> and it was like the equivalent feeling of seeing like a dog walk on its hind legs like it was just such a strange out of body experience because we've talked about this before like she's just talked about how she she um there are certain people um certain clients that she has that she would really want to be friends with outside of you know work but she can't because she had a not so pleasant experience with one client that you know she tried to do the, do the friendship thing with and then like the girl was being weird and then it like kind of ruined their their client client uh lash tech relationship and so she was like yeah like i'm kind of i think i'm done like it kind of just let the bad taste in her mouth so she don't really do the whole uh she's friends with her clients thing but it was just funny seeing her. I was like, girl, what the hell? <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, this is so weird. I was like, it is. So now I'm just taking off my makeup. As you could tell, it was definitely a good night if I fell asleep with my damn makeup. A mess. Um, and then I think we're gonna watch church and get ready and go do brunch and possibly Sunday fun day. Not sure. But y'all know that y'all coming with, of course. So, yeah. I'm so proud of myself, y'all. Last Yesterday, like I told you, I uploaded, I edited an entire video and uploaded all in the same day and still got ready and still had a time, which is just like crazy. And I'm so happy that I did it yesterday and didn't like procrastinate it until today. Cause I don't know. I, I get pretty good engagement on my Saturday uploads and I think it's because a lot of y'all are like me and like homebodies and like y'all would rather be in the house watching a YouTube video on a Saturday night than be outside and like that's no shade no tea because that's me. The only times I really be outside is like when I'm with like my homegirl, somebody's visiting or it's like a special event like an actual event or like a birthday so y'all is it just me or have i been snapping with my outfits lately this was like uh i didn't even try it on i had a concept in my head and i just kind of went with it and i'm really feeling this look okay so this is a quick summary glasses Alyssa johnson i get questions on that all the time necklace is vivian westwood this button up is from amazon amazon fashion y'all um the skirt is Zara and I have on these boots I got from DSW a minute ago. I don't remember the, the brand, but yeah. And then the bag to top it all off is gorgeous. If you guys watch my London vlog, then you remember this bag. It is from Kurt Geiger. The details are everything. I just can't, 
I can't. And yeah, this is my tea. Let me set y'all on the ground so y'all can get a full look. Are we serious? En serio? En serio. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. I was actually initially gonna wear like a blue, like tank situation over top. You know when you, like the girls put like the like tweed material over like a white button up, but it was too tight, baby. So I had to just go with the button up. <laughs> and I'm happy I did. I really like it. Really like this fit. It's very much spring. I love it. So we're about to head to this place called The Honey Hole, which I've been dying to try. And I literally put it on my list. I was like, I'm saving this place to try with Steph. And she's here. So we're going to go. <laughs> um, and yeah, but we're going to go snap some pics downstairs first. You already know how we get down. And then we're going to go eat. So let me grab a tripod so I can bring y'all with. drinks and they didn't have either of our like what we needed so they brought us out two shots on the house and we opted for tequila so here we go cheers it is very good the food just came out <laughs> Wait until y'all see this food. Hold on. Cheers. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Got the Texas heat. <laughs> <laughs> this is heat. Ooh. I can feel that tequila in my. Ooh. I can feel that tequila in my chest, y'all. Me and school toe So we're gonna start off with these salmon tacos. They look so good. Wow. Chicken fried chicken. Yeah. It actually was so good. Inspired. She has to taste it with the sauce, right? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. It makes a difference. That's really good. I'm gonna get that next time. This is good too, but like, if I wanted breakfast for sure, that. Whoa. That is really freaking good. What the hell? Two things that you must get. The chicken fried chicken and the um, THH pancakes. You heard it here first. Coming to build. How are y'all? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling, most importantly? I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real, real good. <laughs> I love that. Like, the news is so well. Like, literally blew my mind. It blew me away. I was, I was genuinely, like, I knew, you know when you know, like, the content, like, I always know that the content I give 
is good, but sometimes mm-hmm. the algorithm, especially just like yeah, for sure. I was like, oh yeah. I noticed both videos, like actually all three. All, all of them. them. All of them did well. Yeah. All of them, like it was insane. Like I, I don't know what the magic was, but all of them did well. Cause you know how TikTok be sometimes mm-hmm. one video really good, got one million followers, one million likes, blah blah blah. Yeah. The next like, three thousand. Yeah. But, like. Oh. It's like it's, you can't do nothing about that. Like, exactly, exactly. Like, everything just so well. Like, yeah. Ah. I'm so happy. I'm so 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 happy. Ah, I'm excited. Yeah. So I know we're talking about more collabs and stuff. So I was like, let me get this on here because we have a lot of things planned. Okay. Let's make us tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> do you talk? To- That's when I was asking questions. I was like, guy, it was crazy. I was like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I was ready for this. Um, I didn't even something like this. Like I love I it. An order yesterday, like a pickup order. Someone drove to my house at midnight to pick up some fucking. I was like, girl, what? As I'm they like, should. Dramas and everything. As like, they should. <laughs> Absolutely. That is girl. so funny. Oh my god. Okay, so let's. Hey, you guys. How are you? It is. Two days later, I think, than when you last saw me, Stephania has already left. I'm really sad. I love when my girls get to visit and we get to just have like time to ourselves. We had a great time. Um, that was a weekend. Okay, honey, a weekend. We had a time. A time had us, actually. <laughs> but um, I actually just wrapped up a call, a really just fun, amazing call. Oh, my battery's dying. Un momento. There's a plane passing by that says go Astros, like at the back, like that's so funny. I think it is opening day today, which is also really exciting because that means it's officially spring. But anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, it was just a really exciting meeting because it just means a lot to me when I can show up for people that show up for me. So uh, the CEO of the hair company that I'm currently wearing, Lavano Hair, by the way, I was saying it wrong, I think in my last vlog. It's not Laviano, it's Lavano. And um, yeah, so their CEO, I met with her and she was just like, I can't believe like, the amount of inquiries like i did not sleep the last two days and i'm just like yes like i love that i love when i can contribute to um a brand that prides itself off of customer service professionalism quality um marketing brand like just all the little details that matter um from a consumer standpoint right like so if i was going to lavano's page and i was like really interested in like raw human quality like raw hair i would want to get five star service and with them you get 10 star service sis like uh, full transparency i wasn't even paid to do this collab um the i understood that they're a small business they sent me the hair they paid for my install um but i did not make money off of it um, now we are in the works of, you know, p- potentially talking about doing that with some time. But, you know, like I really just genuinely wanted to show up for her because like I believe in her and her brand and the quality, the hair, just everything. I was just like blown away and it's just it's amazing. So anyway, I wanted to give you all that transparency because I feel like some people when they see like content creators or influencers post certain things, they're like, oh, they just getting a check. They just get no, baby. You see this hair? Do you see this hair? Oh, okay. All right. (laughs) I'm so pleased with the outcome of my content. And yeah, y'all, we went viral again. Twice. Three times, Loki. Excuse me. Um, I'll show you. No. No. No, no, no. Is this how you be feeling? Yes, every time <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. Okay. We are currently at 264,000. Who just wrote, messaged me? Oh. We are currently at that many plays, that many shares, and 
Here are like the likes and everything like that. That's on TikTok. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And I love this for her. I love this for her brand. I also made a second video that I'll put on the screen right now. This honestly might be the best hair I've ever tried. I don't think I've ever gotten such a high quality luxury experience when it comes to ordering any type of extension. Lovano blew me away with the packaging and attention to detail. They included their aftercare for all the bundles and I loved their packaging. Look at this reusable bag that the bundles came in. The branding, the logo, it's out of this world. I was obsessed with everything look at how each bundle comes packaged and labeled even though they sent me this hair i would definitely spend my own coins on some more the quality of the hair amazing no shedding no tangling and look at the install i mean it speaks for itself so yeah um i'm just i'm really happy i'm really happy not only because my content's performing but more so that it's performing on behalf of lovano um they're just they're a great company the quality is there the details are there Customer service is there, everything. So, yeah. Like I said before, my discount code is DESI10. That'll save you 10% off. And trust me, you're going to need it because the bundles are not cheap. But, baby, you get what you pay for. You will get quality. You will be able to use the hair for three, four, five years. 100,000%. I've... I've used so many different hair companies out there for years and years and years. I mean, there was a point that I would get a sewing... I, I, so often that I didn't know what my real hair looked like because that's how often it was braided up. Like, it was really crazy. Uh, and so I've tried every hair company out there, and this is by far one of the best, like, if not the best. No cap, no casey. Yeah, all the information will be down in the description box. Y'all already know how I'm coming. I do not play about the description box. If you have any questions about where something is from, nine times out of ten, it's linked. If it's not, Correct me if I'm wrong. If it's not, please comment down below and I will always respond. So that's exciting. I can't wait for y'all to see more looks that we have cooking up in the lab. Um, y'all, we have a trip next week. Crazy, crazy. Very excited. What, what? A, because I like playing this game with y'all because y'all y'all were actually playing it with me last vlog and responding in the comments. If I ask a question and I say comment down below, comment down below. And it's not even because I want engagement, it's because I, I love talking to y'all. Like, I want y'all, I want to, it's a good feeling knowing that y'all are watching and that y'all are really, like, engaging. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love having conversations. You can ask the girlies. Me and y'all, we are, we're family, we're twins, okay? We, we get down. We get to chatting it up in the comment section and in the DM. So, yeah. I am never too, too good to respond. Trust me. Two questions. One, where do y'all think I'm going next week? And two, what hairstyle do you think I'm going? I'm getting. Yeah, those are the two questions. It's been a minute is what I'll say. It's been a minute. But it's really crazy because ever since I posted my hair collab, I was already getting them before. But y'all, like a good like eight hair companies have reached out to me via email and DM. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's really crazy. The the doors that will open for you. When you post your content, post your content, post your content, sister. Post your content. I'm not going to say it again. Post your content. <laughs> anyway, you guys already know where we're at. Jesus Corner, Jesus Corner. Let's get into the word of today. I'm opening the YouVersion Bible app. So the verse of the day is John chapter 13, verse 14. It says, so if I'm your teacher and Lord and have just washed your dirty feet, that you should follow the example that I've set for you and wash one another's dirty feet. Now do for each other what I have done just for you. Period. This is literally the depiction of do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Um, in a sense, I kind of, I love that saying, but I also hate it because it's like basically saying we should treat others with respect if we want to be respected but no i'm gonna do you one better and say you should treat others with respect period period end of end of the sentence treat others with respect no matter what you may or may not get in return just be a good person and this basically says that you know if, if god has done his biggest one and washed our feet and done everything he can in, in his power to be good to us who are we we are not better than him we must do the same for other people you know 
So next I go ahead and I find that verse in my Bible. I will link her down below. This is one of the best devotional Bibles. I love her. So I'm gonna flip to John chapter 13. John. I feel like I've been getting a lot of John lately. John chapter 13, verse 14. Oh, memory card is full. Un momento, again. All right, sorry, I had to take a quick intermission, offload some storage onto my computer, and then, yeah. So, here is the passage. Um, it says, Jesus washes his disciples' feet. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to lead this world and return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper, and the devil had already prompted Judas, son of Simus, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he, had, he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying him with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested, you will never ever wash my feet. Jesus replied, unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, then wash my hands and head as well, Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, a person who has bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. For Jesus knew who would betray him. That is, oh, I remember this. That is what he meant when he said, not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, do you understand what I am doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. I tell you the truth. Slaves are not greater than their master, nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends a message. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Yeah, he knew. He knew who was going to betray him. Okay, I remember this. I'm going to bookmark this so I can come back to this chapter and read it. So anyway, let's watch the guided scripture. Hey everyone, my name is Grant Partrick from Passion, and I'm so excited to lead us in the verse of the day today. It's been amazing journeying through Holy Week, and today is Thursday. Oftentimes it's called Holy Thursday, or maybe you've heard it referred to as Maundy Thursday. And that word comes from a Latin word which uh, means commandment, or it's where we get our English word mandate from. And in John chapter 13, Jesus is giving a new mandate, some commandments to his disciples, some things that they are to carry out. And we see one of those in our verse today in verse 14. Jesus is speaking and says this, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. A really short and simple verse, but a difficult one to put into play for us. And in the culture of the day, it would be very normal uh, for every house, every home to have a little bucket or basin of water at the door. And as guests would come over, um, some, some homes you would have a servant there that would wash the feet of the guests as they come in. And some homes you would just wash your own feet. I'm kind of glad this is not a cultural norm of the day anymore. Um, but when Jesus says, uh, I, your Lord and teacher... He, he's, he's acknowledging his status. In one, one writer writes it this way. He says, There's no other example in any Jewish or Greco-Roman sources where a superior washes the feet of an inferior. And so even the disciples are a little bit taken back. They're kind of like, whoa, what, what, what are you doing? You're Jesus, and here you are on your knees washing our feet? And Jesus is really teaching them that the posture that he carries and the posture his disciples are to carry is that we are to be servants. And I love that. You know, Jesus is kind of wrecking the cultural norms of the day. He's, he's wrecking the ranking system, if you will. And all those still exist in our culture today. You see that all over, that there are people who feel like they're a little bit above or a little bit below. And Jesus is going, there really is no lines here in the kingdom of God. We, we are to serve 
everyone. And I love that. He's teaching us that the Christian life is not about looking for ways to build yourself up, but rather it's about looking for ways to lay yourself down. And so I wonder, just as we think about this simple verse today, if you can be really grateful that Jesus has washed us clean. That's a crazy reality. And then also he's challenged us to now take up the posture of a servant. So as you just go in your everyday life today, maybe it's in the carpool line or maybe it's at work, look for someone, go out of your way to take up the posture of a servant, to humble yourself and to value others as more important than yourself. And in, in doing that, we'll honor Jesus and we'll carry out this new mandate that he's given to us. Amen. So using the start method, the S would be scripture, which I already put on the screen earlier. O would be observation, um, which I believe I already stated basically that we are no better um, than anybody. We are all equal. We are all to be servants to Jesus Christ, spread his word, do right unto others, um, regardless of the outcome. That's the hardest part. <laughs> but yeah, application would be, uh, honestly, I feel like I do, and this is me being completely honest and just genuine about the subject. I feel like I do a pretty good job of serving others. Um, I always felt this, but I didn't really know what it was until I got older. I remember me and my really good friend from PA school, Brandon, we talked about uh, how we feel like we were genuinely put on this earth to serve. Um, and, and not literally just serve, but just in so many different ways, like um, just spreading good and helping people and, you know, being there for people. And so, yeah, like I, I wholeheartedly feel as though application i already do it but you know just making a more conscious effort of like helping people um even when i need help myself i think that's really hard too and then prayer uh the next slide is actually a prayer i'm gonna read it, it says father god please show me how to love people like you have loved me when i'm selfish make me humble make me eager to serve anyone i meet transfer my heart so that so that way i treat everyone with humility in jesus name amen amen um, and that's a really good prayer. So that wraps up this Jesus Corner for today. Um, in other news, y'all, these room house updates. Oh my goodness. Sneak peek. And that's all I'm gonna show. Tell them how you and how we could have been places, but you were too.